Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, March 19th. It's the third Sunday in Lent and week five in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 93, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12 to 20, and a canticle from the Song of the Three Young Men, verses 29 through 34. Now please join me in singing verse 3 of Psalm 95. Come let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Psalm 93. Please recite it with me. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure, and holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for fornication, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Should I therefore take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that whoever is united to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For it is said the two shall be one flesh. But anyone united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body. But the fornicator sins against the body itself. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. 
and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Blessed are you, beloved, God of our ancestors. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed is your glorious and holy name. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your glory. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you that behold the depths and are seated upon the cherubim. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you on your glorious throne. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. And blessed are you in the great vault of heaven. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.